two towards the end. Remember, he talked about Epaphroditus, uh, the servant who almost killed himself because he was making up for the lack of what other people were not doing. Strife sat in the ministry. Strife makes the ministry just like uh, the deer in the headlights syndrome. Amen? Um, it it, it can block the flow, or, you know, brain work and all kinds of stuff. So that's why it becomes very important. Uh, in chapter 3, remember he told them, beware dog. And uh, they were evil workers, people that were trying to impose law, legalism, you know, things like that. And then, of course, there was obviously a need. Uh, he told them in chapter 2 about not grumbling and complaining, right? So they could be like, shine like stars. In the midst of, what did he say, in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, right? So, um, and then in chapter 4, which everybody used, which is great, he told them, you know, to uh, think of these things that are good, think of the things that are pure. And certainly that's a cure for strife and things like that, because if I'm looking at you and I'm looking at for what's good about you, what's pure about you, See, a lot of times we get stuck at truth. And sometimes we might need some stuff about our brothers and sisters that are true. Uh, but just because it's true, doesn't mean we should, like, magnify it. Amen? Because yeah. that covers a multitude, the Bible says. And so, we, you know, we have to forbear one another, consider ourselves as we be tempted, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> 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 so when, when, you, when you do that, when you think about what's pure, what's lovely, what's just, you know, you might look at something who really ain't nothing to you about. Okay, <laughs> <not really much>. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's just the case of deep intercession. And you just pray for them. Uh, but it's just interesting. These, and, and too many say about these.